regardless of whatever CMMS system you guys are using, I've got a little tip that's going to save you so much time. Coming up next, right here on Better Biomed. Hey guys, welcome back. You ever sit there and go through your work orders and you think, God, it just takes way too long to close these things. I mean, after all, there's usually only some things you have to type in and sometimes you forget some of the types of tests that you did. So there's one way to keep it all nice and organized, nice and neat, and make it look very professional. And that is to use your own templates. Now, what do I mean by that? Let's take a look. I'll show you a couple of mine. I'm not gonna show you what's in them, because of liability reasons, but I'll show you what I have in general. And all right, guys, here is one of the folders on my laptop. You can see that I have a biomed directory and then I have equipment templates under that. And I have all of these guys right here. And you can see I've got heater cooler, lab refrigerator, life pack 12. Uh, let's see, what do we got? Life pack 15. Insufflator, Jackson table, centrifuge, CO2 incubator, uh, refrigerator centrifuge, just um, bipolar ESU, AED. So you see all this stuff and you're probably thinking, what is going on? Well, these are actual notes that I will put in a work order and it's a template really. So what you do is you copy this and you paste it and you can see I have it sectioned off based on the type of equipment except for you can see right here this life pack 12 i have here a life pack 15 a life pack 20 and let's see what else do i have over here you can see some of them are just generic i have a life pack 20e now the reason that some of them are going to be way more specific is because it's a life support item and the notes are going to be very very specific to that item but all the rest of this stuff, like right here, surgical microscope. Now, there are going to be some specific notes, whether it's a Leica or if it's a um, Zeiss, but not too much. I mean, it doesn't really matter for those. It does matter for your others, for your, like your life packs, your defibrillators. Those ones, it's going to be very specific because your life pack 12 is going to have different tests than your life pack 20. Your Zoles, I do believe I have Zoles on here. Yeah, I do. Zol M, Zol R's. So, guys, these notes right here are all kind of organized. They're thrown into this folder. And when I reach a new device that I am going to sit there and type in the notes for, I'll copy those notes into a text file and save them on my desktop. And then I'll go through and I'll curate this list over time. And you're going to have a lot of your notes in there, but I cut out the spots that I have to type stuff in. Like if I have output readings, I'm gonna copy those out. And um, when I put them into a work order, I just fill in those specific little areas. But my notes look very nice and neat. And I would show you what my notes are, but unfortunately, I think that there's a little bit of liability there because I don't want anybody copying my notes. Copy what's best for you, all right? You do you, all right, guys? This is one thing. That's the reason I won't go over PMs on this channel. And just the same, I won't go over what I type in for the notes. All I can tell you is that your notes have to be very specific, especially on life support items. Be very specific, test for test on life support items. In fact, there's checklists, guys. Your checklist, you can save in here just the same. I actually have another file uh, that's got checklists for like the life packs. They all have a checklist that you follow when you do a PM. But I'm not gonna show you guys that because you should follow your manual. And the thing is, if I were to go into detail on what I post in the notes, let's say that there's a update or that there is a recall or something and you're not supposed to do that test that way, you have to change it. Well, now, uh, you know, these videos go, you know, years online and somebody could be like, hey, Justin told me to test it this way or that I'm only supposed to enter this value. And that is not it at all. Guys, that's why I won't go over a PM or anything because things change over time based on the industry, based on the OEM, based on recalls, patient incidents, all that kind of stuff factors in. Plus your, your facility has risk factors for your PM program. 
So that's why I won't go into what I typed into the notes. But I want to tell you guys that if you are entering in work orders, let's say you have a blender. You copy your notes for what you did to the blender, that you checked your O2 levels, you calibrated uh, your O2 percentages using this analyzer here, if you use that analyzer every time, and that is in your notes, okay? Not verbatim, you know, like I said, you do you. But when you find a new piece of equipment that you haven't done before, type in your notes nice and neat, copy them, paste them into a text file, and then keep them in a folder. So when you reach that device again, you don't have to type all that stuff out again. And guys, I'm going to tell you right now, if you type in PM complete, and that's what you write in your notes, God, you shouldn't be a biomed. I'll tell you this right now. I'll tell you, like a lot of guys are going to probably downvote this video. If you just type in PM complete, you should not be a biomed. I'm telling you right now, that's not how we do business. All right. You just type in something, type in what you did, check your O2 percentages, check your patient leads. I mean, type it in. What, what did you do? I mean, you drop an hour on a PM and you say PM complete, but that's not what this video is about. I'm not going to lecture you guys about your poor notes and your poor vernacular guys use proper technical terminology, especially if that's what's in your user manual. And if you fill out a half hour or an hour on a PM, type in what you did, man, for real. So these are my notes, and this is how I curate the list, is I have all my notes for the different models and the different types of equipment that I've done. They're kept in a folder on my desktop, and it's under a biomed folder. Keep it separate from, you know, personal stuff. But models, I keep some of them specific if there's very specific tests, like I, I have one for Jackson table. And the reason being is because it's not typical surgical table. There are two you know, uh, lifts, their mechanical actuator lifts on each end of the Jackson table. Plus you check out the, the frame that's on the middle of the table, completely different than on a surgical table. And if you guys wanted to get even more specific, you could do a hydraulic surgical table versus a mechanical, like a Trump, which has got mechanical actuators because there's different tests that you're going to do for each of those different types of tables. But what I'm getting at is you type those up, you save them in your list, and when you have another work order that you need to close, you go into here, you copy your notes, you paste them into your work order, and then you edit the notes according to what you found or what you do. That way there you keep a nice, neat format. And this is what makes your work look professional. Guys, I don't know about you and your shops, but we gotta save some time. <laughs> so this is how I save time. And I'm not saying, I am not saying you take these notes and you paste it in every single work order and then you close a work order. You edit the notes according to what you did. What I'm saying is this is a template. You create the template yourself, you, you curate the list, and then when that need arises, you copy those notes into your work order, you edit the notes, again, I'm gonna say it, because somebody's gonna say, hey, Justin said to just copy your stuff over. No, you edit your template according to the device, and you type in what you did, all right? So this is my process improvement to improve the way I do business. And I suggest you guys do the same because if you close out 30 or 40 work orders and each and every one of them, the notes are a wee bit different than the last one, like you left out a test that you did, it doesn't look so good, right? So uniformity when you're doing your tests, this is one way to ensure that.